the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, June 12th, 2022, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 25, Building Noah's Ark. Human beings are very stubborn creatures, and as it says in the Bible, stiff-necked. When Noah was building the ark, those of you who may not know the story, not only did he get ridiculed for the many, many years that he was building it, but there had never been rain before, let alone the need for such an enormous building project that was supposedly to save people from something they'd never even seen. I think there are a lot of parallels here, not in just in the story of ASM, but in life in general. As I get older and more experience with people and situations and watching how the world works at large and reading other people's stories and understanding the arc of history, it's clear to me that the vast majority of people don't want to see things differently than their preconceived notions. They fix an idea in their heads, in their hearts, and they decide that's the truth, and then they reject all further information that doesn't basically line up with their preconceived notions. Personally, I can't live that way. I, I'm not in, in love with my perspective to that degree. In, in fact, and I'll say this again, I still look for reasons to believe why I may have gotten my views wrong on Donald Trump. There are some aspects of it I've admitted to openly that I think he was probably right about. And I don't have any problem with that. That doesn't affect my, my, doesn't make me upset inside, doesn't cause me internal turmoil. I'm, I'm just seeking for what's true. In this current world, um, I would say through the time I've been able to observe and understand to some reasonable degree what's going on, I've seen a deterioration of not just the disclosure of facts and truth, but Worse than that, there doesn't seem to be any real desire to find it, meaning that nobody's going to look for something that they don't value, right? So if you don't believe that truth exists, there's a lot of those, certainly, people that look at the world that way, or probably even worse than that, if you know it exists but you don't care and you don't value it, then certainly uh, you're not going to go looking for it. And in a market-driven economy, there's not even going to be any market for it. So if falsehood is the market, the market is going to, you know, if that's what people want, that's what the market's going to serve. It's a bit of a departure from what I'm trying to get across here with the ARC. But in the case of bringing this back to ASM, I do very much see um, sports investing and since nobody has been able to demonstrate a platform that works other than this one, I'm going to say our sports investing platform is Noah's Ark in a lot of ways. Um, There is no future in feeding people gambling. Even Charles Barkley said in an article this weekend that it's getting out of control. (laughs) That coming from a a guy who think, I, I think he's a spokesman for FanDuel and has a long history of being a gambling problem gambler. That's kind of a a shocking thing to see. Um, Even he knows deep down inside that this is a bad road to go down. You're not going to build anybody's life up with gambling. Give me one example of that. Just one. You can't. Again, Biff's Pleasure Palace, go to Las Vegas, drive a couple blocks outside the Strip and take a look around. Now, I get that people want to put their money on their sports knowledge and I, I that I'm not one of those people but I understand that impulse and I certainly understand the tribalism and the human nature to want my team to beat your team and all the rest of that that comes along with sports and camaraderie and community and by and you know by and large those all those things are very good for society and sports brings that to the picture um, but then turning around and and 
making gambling the pervasive mechanism for people to financially get involved is just the wrong path. It's, it's just, it's the wrong path. <laughs> there is no straight talking points to the contrary. If you're a gambling promoter, you're just basically going to say, well, people are going to do it anyway, and better we get the money than someone else. That's really lame. I mean, why don't we legalize murder for hire? I mean, there's a market for that. I mean, what's the difference? In a murder for hire situation, death's more immediate. Whereas in gambling, it's a long, usually a, a rather long decline, depending on how bad your addiction is. So, ASM is Noah's Ark? Absolutely. Um, in so many ways. That's, uh, that's exactly what I see. Uh, people make fun of, ridicule, attack, misrepresent, um, ignore. But the building project just goes on. Trying to show that we know something that the other the rest of the world really hasn't got caught on to yet you know i believe it was 40 years i i off the top of my head i don't know it was a very long time it took no a long time to build the ark and imagining that that's in a world where rain has never happened before let alone a boat that size that's supposed to save everybody from the something nobody's ever seen so yes sports investing noah's ark universal the universal appeal, the pervasiveness of sports worldwide, the ability to create new leagues and teams um, with worldwide market for it on all sides, not just the trading of contracts on that team and league, but the building of infrastructure around it, the building of an ecosystem around it, like eBay, where people will build their own markets, their own they will service, you know, if you build a new soccer team in the Congo, there's going to be a lot of industry that is going to build up around that to service that market. So, yeah, unapologetically, ASM is Noah's Ark in so many ways. But, you know, just to the practical, I'll get to more. There's even more to it than that, but but just for now, suffice it to say that I do I do see it that way, and it's being treated that way in a lot of ways, laughed at, ridiculed, scoffed, attacked, try attempted to be destroyed, all the things that human beings do when they don't understand something, or they have a contrary agenda, they support the opposite. So, anyway, that's it for date for today. Thank you for your time, and um, if you feel so inclined, please um, forward this podcast on, share it rate review subscribe if you aren't already and um, the show notes always contain links that are um, relevant at this time thank you and have a nice uh, weekend bye now